Welcome to an example where we're given the general equation of a circle and we're asked to write the equation in standard form and then give the center and radius of the circle. We know this equation is a circle because the x squared and y squared terms have the same coefficient. In this case, they're both one. So we want to write the equation here in general form into standard form, which is given here below. The quantity x minus h squared plus the quantity y minus k squared equals r squared is the standard form of a circle where in this form the center has coordinates h, k and the radius is equal to r. So the quantity x minus h squared means we have a perfect square trinomial in terms of x and the quantity y minus k squared means we have a perfect square trinomial in terms of y as well. And we'll have to form these perfect square trinomials using the general form of our equation. So we'll have x squared minus six x plus some constant that would make this a perfect square trinomial plus y squared plus eight y plus a constant that will make this a perfect square trinomial. Let's go ahead and move the constant five to the right side so we'll have equals negative five. But because we're gonna be adding two constants on the left, let's go ahead and put plus blank plus blank to remind us to add the constant to both sides of the equation. And now to find the constant to make this a perfect square trinomial, we're gonna take half of the coefficient of x and square it. So if we take negative six and divide by two and square it, this value will make this a perfect square trinomial. Well, negative six divided by two is negative three. Negative three squared is equal to positive nine. So we're gonna add nine here and also add nine to the right side of the equation. And now to make the second trinomial a perfect square, we'll take half of eight and square it, which would be four squared, which is equal to 16. So we'll add 16 here and we'll add 16 to the right as well. Now we'll factor the x part and the y part separately and these should be perfect square trinomials. So we'll show all the work in this example. This will factor into two binomials where we have x and x. The factors of positive nine that add to negative six would be negative three and negative three. So we have x minus three and x minus three. Notice how we can rewrite this as the quantity x minus three squared, which we'll do in the next step. Plus, the trinomial in terms of y will factor into two binomials. So we'll have y and y. And now the factors of positive 16 that add to positive eight are four and four. So we'll have y plus four and y plus four. Notice on the right we have negative five plus nine, that's four, plus 16 is 20. And now we can write this in standard form. We have the quantity x minus three squared plus the quantity y plus four squared equals 20. Now that we have this in standard form, we can find the center and the radius. Because we have the quantity x minus three squared, the x coordinate is positive three. And because we have the quantity y plus four squared, the y coordinate is negative four. So notice how the signs of these coordinates are the opposite of what we see here because of the standard form of a circle. For y plus four, we could write this as y minus negative four, but it's easier just to remember that the signs of these coordinates are the opposite of what we see here. If we have x minus three, the x coordinate is positive three. If we have y plus four, the y coordinate is negative four. And then to find the radius, the right side of this equation in standard form is equal to r squared, which means r squared is equal to 20. This represents a length, so we can take the principal square root or positive square root of both sides to find r. So we'd have r equals square root 20, which does simplify. 20 is equal to four times five, so we can write r is equal to two square root five. Or if we want a decimal approximation, this would be approximately 4.47. So we'll go ahead and give the exact value, that would be two square root five units. But in order to graph this circle by hand, the decimal approximation would probably be more useful. 
So again, this question asks us for the standard form of the circle and the coordinates of the center and the length of the radius. So this information is right here. And we'll go ahead and finish by graphing this. Here's our circle. Notice the center has coordinates three, negative four. If we sketched a segment from the center to a point on the circle, let's say this segment here, this would be the radius, which we found to be two square root five, or approximately 4.47. Okay, I hope you found this explanation helpful.